years of my life, I ate burgers and steak and everything. So I couldn't just stop cold turkey. I had to do it gradually. So the first thing that I started off with was pork. Pork was not that hard. It was challenging, but it was not that hard. I had some friends that was around me at the time. They were members of the 5% Nation of Islam, and they were always talking about pork and swine and things like that. So that, in addition to my research, made it easy to kind of let go of the pork. And I did everything in seven-month intervals. Seven is a real important number in nature, so I just decided everything is going to be seven. So seven months after pork, we went to beef. And beef was not easy either, because I love burgers, I love McDonald's, I love Burger King, all of that stuff. But I had to hold true to my convictions. I had a focus in mind, because of the fact that what's the definition, what's the definition of insanity? It's doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So I had to do things differently from what my family members were doing. So I held true to that conviction, no more beef. The next thing was getting to chicken. Now, chicken was not easy either because I loved the way my mom made fried chicken, you know, barbecue chicken, chicken with sauce and everything. But again, I had to get to that barrier through too as well. So seven months later, we got to the chicken and we said, all right, that's it. And then the next thing was changing to uh, milk, to soy milk, and then eventually almond milk and then announcing it to my family members what was my plans and what I was doing. So you guys know that anytime you got something you're excited about, you got something you want to share to your family members, you think everybody's going to jump on board with you, and you just go right in like, yo, guys, listen, I got, I got the thing for us. Listen, we're not going to get diabetes. We're going to lower our risk of cancer. We're going to lower our risk of stroke, all of these things. All right? They're like, Quest, what is it? Let us know. What, what's, what, what have you found? Is it an herb? Is it? I said, I got something better than that. We're all going to become vegetarians. They said, what? A vegetarian? Vegetables? Nah. You're going to go on that trip by yourself, buddy. All right? Matter of fact, today, I'm about to go have me some steak right now. So listen, bro. I'm done with that. Uh, that's it with that. But needless to say... My family members didn't give much support at that time. The only person that was really supportive was my mother. She would create, um, she would make the meals in the household for everybody else and cook something on the side for me, which was very, very helpful. So with, this is 20 plus years ago. So now what I could tell you today is a lot of my family members, although they're not vegetarians or know they're not 100% plant-based, a lot of them has significantly lowered the amount of meat that they consume. They don't consume a lot of pork. Some don't consume any pork. Some don't consume any beef. You know, um, I can't take credit for it. Maybe I planted a seed. Maybe I sprinkled some seeds and stuff like that. But the